Okay, well, uh, we're going to get started here. I wanted to thank everybody for coming here today. Um, the members of the Senate Democratic Caucus are here this morning to announce our priority for the upcoming MBR. The MBR used to be called the Corrections Budget. That's a more appropriate term considering the many things that need corrected from the governor's previous budgets. In a few days, Governor Casey will lay out his priorities during the state of the state. So now's a good time to look at where we are as a state and what path we should, do, we should take moving forward. Here are some of the concerns that I wanted to discuss today. 31,000 more Ohioans are unemployed today than they were at this time last year. Ohio is 45th in the nation in job creation. Ohio's unemployment rate has grown more than any other state over the past year. Those are all numbers from the Bureau of the Labor Statistics. The governor has increased sales tax and pushed for tax cuts that disproportionately benefit the wealthy, while at the same time kicking thousands of Ohioans off food assistance. And women's rights have been attacked. Clearly, Ohio is on the wrong path. What the governor and majority is, is doing today isn't working. Too many Ohioans are unemployed, and too many are being left behind by the policies that benefit a fortunate few. We need to put the focus on helping all Ohioans. That's why the priorities of the Senate Democratic Caucus are designed to promote good jobs, strong and safe communities, and effective schools. We're trying to keep this very simple, trying to make sure that we emphasize what's important to most Ohioans. We're now going through some of the issues that um, we're going to be facing in the MBR, and I wanted to talk first about uh, tax fairness, okay? So what we did was we took away the homestead exemption for uh, thousands of seniors in the state of Ohio. We need to reinstate that home exemption. We, we shouldn't be helping to balance a budget on the backs of seniors in Ohio. We should help them enjoy a good quality of life uh, towards the end of their life after their retirement. Um, we should also reinstate the property tax rollback. There's no reason that we took that 12% state share away from um, paying towards levies in the state of Ohio. So now, not only is it very difficult to pass levies, but now you have to pass more expensive levies, which just makes the campaigns very difficult. A recent levy in my district failed by 77 votes, and, and that was brought up a lot, that it was a more expensive levy than was once promised. So that's an issue. And we need to bring back the sales tax level to where it was prior to the governor's budget. This quarter percent sales tax doesn't sound like a lot, but I've talked to businesses in my district that are not buying goods from Ohio this year because of the sales tax. And if they can find it cheaper in other states, then they're making those purchases. So those are things that people don't consider at times. The severance tax is also an issue that we need to tackle. Again, this, this can be very simple. We need to make sure that there's environmental protection first. We need to make an adequate and robust investment in the communities where the oil and gas is being removed from the earth. And we need to have a part of that severance tax for job training for, for Ohioans today. You know, people complain about seeing all the license plates from folks from all over the country. And so if we're going to use Ohioans, they need to be properly trained. We need to make that investment now. We need to make, get this severance tax passed now because every day that passes, we're moving further and further behind. Two other quick things about um, tax fairness. We need to make sure that the earned income tax credit is refundable, and we also need to do a review of tax expenditure review and reforms. Basically, just put a process in place that we can review these tax expenditures, um, these, these uh, rebates back to businesses to make sure that they're working. You know, some are, some are definitely helping businesses move forward, others may be wasteful and we need to put something together in order to look at that. I'm now going to turn this over to Senator Tavares so that she can talk about <laughs> investing in a healthier Ohio. Thank you.